We continue on the journey into the 39 Melachot of prohibited activities on Shabbat. The two covered in this video are the final two in the grouping of hides, or the making of leather. In previous videos, the Melachot of trapping the animal, killing the animal, skinning it, tanning the hide, and smoothing the hide into the completed leather were covered. The final two Melachot in this section involve cutting the leather into the usable pieces. Once the leather is completely cured, preserved, and smooth, it is scored with lines to mark where it is to be cut. Then the leather was cut to a specific size in order to sew them together to make the large coverings for the mishkan. Messer Tate is scoring the leather to mark where the cutting is to take place, and Mechatek is the actual cutting to a measured size. So scoring would be making any kind of guideline or outline on a surface for a useful purpose such as cutting. And this is prohibited to do on Shabbat even if the cutting doesn't occur until after Shabbat. Making any guideline on any object in order to cut, tear, or break the object into a specific shape or size would be problematic. Making any horizontal lines on an object in order to write in a straight line. Making dots on a piece of paper in order to connect them with a line. Or scoring any object with your fingernail, maybe, in order to cut it after Shabbat would be prohibited. So some other real-life applications, well, while there's really no prohibition on folding a piece of paper on Shabbat, if you're folding it with the specific intention that you're going to tear it off on the fold after Shabbat, then that would be prohibited. Many packages and containers come with a perforated plastic seal, for example, cottage cheese. There's no problem with tearing along those lines since there is no intention of obtaining a certain size and the perforations are just there to make it easier to open. Boxes of tissues also come with perforations to enable the box to be opened, but a specific size opening is the result. So in opening these boxes on Shabbat, it's preferable that they are not opened following the perforations. Now, Messer Tate scoring does not apply to food. So if you want to make some guidelines on the frosting so that you can cut even-sized pieces of cake, that's permitted on Shabbat. Or scoring the peel of an orange with a knife to make it easier to peel it, that's also permitted on Shabbat. Mechatek is measured cutting. And in the Mishkan, this was the cutting of the finished leather to a specific measured size. So this cutting not only applies to leather, but it also applies to any kind of material. So the intentional or deliberate measured cutting of any material to a specific size or shape would be permitted, prohibited on Shabbat. So for example, if you've opened a bottle of wine and you can't get the cork back in the bottle for you to shave off pieces of the cork so that it would fit in the bottle would be prohibited on Shabbat. Tearing off a piece of wax to cover the sharp edges of your braces, since you're cutting it to a measured size, even though you're just using your fingers, would be measured cutting. Cutting a sheet of paper into smaller pieces, or if you have a large piece of aluminum foil and you want to cover a small pan in the, in the kitchen, cutting that down to size so that it fits the small container would be prohibited. It would be okay just to take that large piece and completely wrap it around the entire article. So tearing toilet paper or paper towels on the perforations would be permit, prohibited on Shabbat because you do get a measured, you know, consistent size. Just like Messer Tate, Mechatek cutting does not apply to foods. So this does differ from Korea, even though it seems similar. It's similar to the tearing, but since Korea does not apply to all different kinds of materials, it does have a difference, and then Korea also is not even referring to cutting things to a certain size. So that concludes the brief review of Mesotate and Mechatek, scoring and cutting. These two Melachot have fewer applications than some and may be an easy addition to your Shabbat. So continue on your journey into Shabbat and continue learning with Torch.